Hi, welcome to that introduction about payments. How payments really work? So, let's consider the following international context. Assuming we have a French Visa card holder making a payment in a US hypermarket. So, how this payment is processed? And what are the systems and protocols involved during that transaction? We have the French card holder, uh, we have the payment device in a US hypermarket, we have the LAN gateway, and then the WAN, the wide area network. Those are the main components of our scenario. The LAN is the local area network uh, that transmits the transaction data to the gateway. The gateway is a kind of server concentrating all transactions from different points of sales, then sending them to the acquiring bank. The acquiring bank is the bank of the US hypermarket. So now the one, the wide area network, is composed by the US side, uh, the acquiring bank of the US hypermarket, that reach the Visa Base One, which is uh, the component, the technology of Visa, um, recognizing the ISO 8583 protocol version 1993, then this uh, gateway will reach the French gateway uh, through the converter because the French gateway have um, uh, the 1987 version of um, ISO 8583. Then uh, that gateway will reach the issuer uh, authorization server to uh, check if the cardholder, the French cardholder, has enough funds within his account. All this uh, happen in less than a few seconds, as you know, um, and the authorization is then delivered uh, in the point of sales. So the ISO 8583 defines a message format and a communication flow so that different systems can exchange these transaction requests and responses. Many versions of the ISO 8583 are used by different countries. For example, France is used in 1987 version and USA in 1993. By the way, there are also other protocols like ISO 20022nd XML based related to European credit transfer and direct debits. And also the ISO 807816, which is dedicated to the EMV, Euro MasterCard Visa, cards. Thank you for your attention. See you soon. Bye-bye.